Well, if our, if our society was built so that everything was wheelchair accessible, but we didn't have access to glasses, who we would think of as being disabled would be a completely different picture. The Ed Roberts campus is a um, building that was built as in a way of honoring the life of Ed Roberts, who died in 1995. After his death, uh, seven disability agencies came together to build a universally designed transit-oriented building that's located at the Ashby BART station in Berkeley, California. And the building was really built as a way of bringing us together, bringing us under one roof, having a real visibility to the disability independent living movement, and really just having a little more presence for the community can't think of a better use of new market tax credits um, and I'm very pleased and glad that we worked with a team that was so successful in bringing this project together. Ed Roberts was a person with a severe disability. He had polio as a child and um, he went to the University of California. He was one of the first students with a severe disability to go there. He and a group of other people with disabilities started working together to figure out how they could change the way that the world treated them. He was um, a real leader. He was, you know, he was someone who really inspired a lot of people. So when there was an opportunity to try to honor him, uh, the idea of this uh, campus came up. We, it's kind of a symbol of uh, a community and uh, independence and a memory of a truly amazing individual. The building is a center for organizations involved in, in disability rights and disability services. And so from the beginning, it was the objective and, in fact, the requirement that this be a model for accessible design. So it, it, every aspect of this building meets the highest standard for accessible design, in fact, created new ideas on how to maximize accessibility from the way you access an elevator to the way you're greeted as you, as you arrive at the door to the ramp that is kind of the centerpiece of this. You know, ramps, I think, are often by architects seen as sort of a necessary evil. This ramp, he really made the key feature of the building. It's right at the front. It's sculptural, and it's beautiful, and it's architectural, and it has a real function. And so it, it really tells the story of the building. When a new visitor comes into the Ed Roberts campus, the first thing they see is this, the red panels on the ramp. And the ramp really tells people what this building is about before anyone says a word. If there is a symbol for access for most people with disabilities, uh, the ramp is a really big symbol for us. And it's kind of, it's our uh, holy grail. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's, it's, it's a, a symbol of everybody getting to go to the same place through the same entrance just like everybody else. And that's really the whole point of universal design is that if you design something where you consider the needs of people with disabilities, you end up designing things that are more usable by everybody. I like how I can walk through the, the office and see all my friends. I keep running in people I know. I like the accessibility of it. This is Devian here, and this is my oldest great-grandchild that I've adopted, and uh, he has certain disabilities, uh, issues, I should say. It's an umbrella of services here, and it's all in one building. I don't have to go all over town looking for this, that, and the other. They're all right here. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I think in the end, uh, the challenges in life are frankly what give us a certain amount of satisfaction um, in the work that we do. Uh, this was by far one of the most complex projects I've ever worked on in 25 years in real estate finance. And in the end, there are now nine nonprofit organizations that are located in this building, uh, Mecca for the independent living movement. Um, and I think there's a model, it's a universal design model here that uh, is probably world class in terms of this type of architecture. So. I can't think of a better use of new market tax credits. As we drove up today to the finished Ed Roberts campus and saw how it fits within the community, how it, how the, the physical facility embraces the community, 
it's a place that you want to come into, you're drawn to, you want to explore, you want to learn more. And New Markets has made this happen. It finished the project. Well, I think in the end, Resnick uh, was the glue that brought this project together. Um, I think between the legal team and the accounting team, um, they were probably the more so relied on for this kind of a project than any other time. And in fact, uh, they oftentimes would huddle together and then come back with solutions that made sense to uh, all of the parties involved. So I don't think we could have done this without a good accounting firm, and uh, Resnick absolutely rose to the challenge in this project. And as we've worked with Resnick, it's been great to I feel like we were a team as opposed to, you know, they were sort of looking at us and watching what we were doing. I really feel like it's been a great collaboration.